Hey, and welcome to the channel. In this new series, I'll be teaching you how to spice up your graphics on your content creation platforms, as well as video editing techniques that I use in both my YouTube videos and Twitch clips. So let's get to it. In today's video, I would like to show you how to create your own Twitch text emoji for your live streaming channel. What we will be creating is something like of these down here. Okay guys, let's get started. For today, we're gonna be using Photoshop 2019. Now you can use the older versions of Photoshop, but I don't think they have the save as web legacy, which is perfectly fine because you'll just have to create two new canvas sizes to create the 28 by 28 pixel as well as the 56 by 56 pixel. All right, so when I'm creating my emote, I like to use the maximum size Twitch will allow me to upload, which is 112 by 112 pixels. And for resolution size, I use 72. Now you're welcome to experiment with this, but for now, I would keep it at 72. So let's create it. Let's create a new layer and get rid of this solid background layer. Because if you do not get rid of it, your emote will have a white squared background. And I really don't think you want that showing up on Twitch. All right, so we're going to create a capital sub hype emote. Just like this. All right, let's center it. So right now this looks kind of boring. You're like, how do we make this interesting? So first I'm going to zoom in. Don't mind it getting all pixelated. It just does that when you zoom in. So the first thing you want to do is right click your layer and go to blending options. What we're going to do is create a gradient overlay. And you're welcome to create your own custom gradient overlay by choosing two colors, colors in this color panel over here. Or you can choose from these presets. And today I'm going to be using the rainbow preset just to make it look cool. And maybe you guys can use this as your tier three sub emote. All right, so this color looks pretty good. Let's go make a cool outline of the text. You see a lot of people with these cool, like, solid outlines, and this is how you do it. Just go to Drop Shadow, click Drop Shadow. Uh, let's go into the settings real quick. Don't need the glow. The glow just makes it look weird. Change your spread to 100%, and the size could be from 4 to 6, depending on the size of your text. And what I like to do for color is not make it straight up black because it'll blend a bit much with the Twitch chat. And I want people to be able to at least see a little bit of the outline. All right, so now that looks good, we're gonna manipulate it to fit the canvas size. All right, so the hype looks good, but the sub text needs to be bigger. So we're gonna make it a little bigger up to 60. Let's make it like the 66. Trying to line it up. Whoops. Line it up with the hype. There we go. Now that looks pretty much the same. All right, so now let's center it again. Make sure nothing is going to get cut off. Some streamers have their emotes where a little bit of this is cut off and it just, you can tell it looks weird. Personally, I like it if there's a little bit of a white border. All right, now that you have your emote created, you want to save it. Let's go to File, Export, save for web this is the thing i don't think that the older versions of photoshop have so what you're gonna have to do is for each of these other two sizes is create a canvas and basically import the saved image make sure to save it as a png otherwise it will not be transparent either all right so this will be emote three because this is the bigger size and from then on i'm gonna go to one you all know how the order of sequence goes you guys can name it however you want Let's get the 56 sized one. This will be emote two. And last but not least is the smallest one, the 28. I know what you're gonna say. This thing is tiny. I can't see it on my screen right now. You'll be able to see it perfectly fine on Twitch. I'm sure you all know. You've seen the streamers emotes before. They scale for mobile, for bigger screens, smaller screens, whatever. It's just for scaling of that. All right, now you've created your emote. Let's see what it looks like. Go to wherever you saved it. I have a bunch of Twitch stuff here. Click on it and there's your emote. All you gotta do is upload all three of these to your Twitch under your affiliate panel and you're good to go. It may take a while to get submitted, but you'll have your emote at some point. 
So that's how I create my own Twitch text emotes, and I will be uploading them soon to my channel when I unlock some more emote slots. I do stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and on Saturdays I stream at 4 p.m. Eastern Time unless uh, something else comes up, but then I usually end up pushing the stream back to also 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So I do stream on Saturdays, it's just depending on what exactly goes on that day. I hope to see you all there. I play all kinds of video games from Fortnite up to World of Warcraft. And I also like to mess around with my own personal graphics because I'd like to see what I can create. And I like to have viewer input because I know sometimes what looks good to me is not going to look good to you guys. And I appreciate any input I can get. I hope everyone has a great day or evening. And I cannot wait to see what you have all created after watching this tutorial video. See you guys next time. Peace.